we're back on the park. We got some cabins here. The beauty. workout you will come here and the trails are eh, come on the extension go on the extension it gives you a good pound you gotta be careful two hands have to be on so if you got all those gopros you can put on your head your helmet have a great hand ride with your helmet I didn't ride. especially if you come with little ones because if they fall lots of rocks lots of tree stumps it's gonna be open, you're gonna focus on what you're doing. 
on my way back. Should I go or should I go? I need to see. But it said do not enter, but I think it's for motorized vehicle. No, not motorized vehicle. Should I? Shall. I'm going. I'm going. Here we go. Work now for Zoom. on the road that say tent so I thought I was gonna see tents but no probably get lost now because I'm all over I do not know where as long as I keep the sun because I know the sun sets in the west right yeah I'll be fine and these sites are huge too see fifth wheel third the three third the four footer trailer People camping, but not a lot. In, uh, regular camping. Oh, what's this? I see. Is that a monster? It looks being pulled by us at the Volvo. Oh, it's 
that's a huge beast right there yeah so as you can see this site can take a lot of big rigs small rigs all oh, down there you see that one all the way down there big rigs small rigs you name it I said man it's beautiful because space between the only drawback that I have is if you're going to camp, as I said, this I'm not doing much camping, but look at that. If you're going to make sure you have long extension when you plan to come to, make sure you have long extensions when you plan to come to provincial parks. Because sometimes where they have the electrical connector, and where your rig is, it's far, very far. So you have to make sure that you have extension. See, a nice fifth wheel. And look at the space between. It's awesome. Nice space in between the rigs. Sites. Oh, that guy's lucky. He's got this extension right there. This one, the extension is to the left, and most of the hookups and trailers are on the driver's side. You know, and that was on the right side of the driver. So I'm driving around, riding around. Site this is. So we're in the 200, 244 section. Easy to find on the map. No, I do not have a map. But I'll find my way back. I always do. Sooner or later. 20 hours later. As you can see, I have not find my way back home. But I will sooner or two days later. Okay, where the puss kitten am I? I have no clue. I do not see the sign that says exit. I'm just riding, riding on my bike, my CCM, mountain bike, riding on my CCM. Distance 12.1 kilometers. Duration 38 minutes 51 seconds. Current speed 10.5 kilometers per hour. Average speed 12.4 kilometers per hour. So here it is. The sunset. In Berkuren. Provincial Park.
River Trail the Park. And you can hear the waves on that side. It's a lot of sand dunes. Sand dunes. So I'm going to check out this trail. We leave it today. See where I came in. Check out this trail. It's a river trail. See what it has to offer. Good morning. This is a nice riding trail for you mountain bikers. It's very technical. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, mountain bikers, adventurers would love this. It's beautiful. The scenery is beautiful. And. The trail is beautiful. So I took a wrong turn. I thought the trail came down to here. Then when I come, I'm like, oh, this is no way. But the trail is up top. For those experienced mountain bikers. This is the trail going up. I have to push my bike up. So I was down there. Now I'm up here. So I guess this is the river, river trail we just, I just went on, it's a beautiful view, very picturesque. Let's see if we see any gators or crocodiles, ah uh, too cold for them. Thank you for listening, watching. If you made it this far, to Chasing Waterfall with Vegan and his meat loving family. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and see you in the next one. Walk good, be blessed.